Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a JavaScript program to check the number entered by the user is even or odd. And uh, normally when we write this program, we use the if else conditional statement. But in this program, we will not be using that. We will be using the switch statement. So whenever we have an integer number, in order to say whether that number is even or odd, what we do is we divide that number by two and we check out the reminder value. If we get the reminder as zero, then we say that the number is even number. If the reminder that we get is a non-zero value, which will be one when we divide any number by two, we say that the number is odd number. So here, what we are going to do in this tutorial is, first we will ask the user to enter a number and then we will find the reminder value that we get when we divide the number entered by the user by two. And then we check whether this reminder value that we get, whether it is zero or one. And depending on that, we will display the appropriate message. So here the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to enable the strict mode. So I'm going to say use strict. And after that, here we will be taking the user input from the user. So I will be using a module called as prompt sync for taking the user input. Here I'm using Node.js and I will be writing and executing the plain JavaScript code. So here we will uh, use the prompt sync module to get the prompt function. Uh, if you don't know about it, then I have the tutorial which explains how you can install prompt sync and how you can uh, use it for taking the user input in JavaScript programs using Node.js. I'm going to put the link of that tutorial in the description box. You guys can check that out. So here we get the prompt. We're going to say const prompt equal to require and we will require prompt sync and we need to call a function uh, you know which is exported by this and we can pass in the config information we will say interrupt signal true by the way i have explained everything about this prompt sync in that tutorial about the prompt sync so i'm not going to explain that here you guys can watch that tutorial so now what we have is we have a function called as prompt, which we can use and we can take the user input. So here in this program, we can ask the user to enter an integer number. So we will use the prompt function and here we will say enter an integer number. Now this prompt function, it returns the user input as a string value. And in this case, we want the integer number. So what we do is whatever the number that the user is going to enter, which will be returned by this prompt function as a string value, we will convert that to integer type. And we can do that by using pass int function. And then what we can do is we can store the number in integer form in a variable, let us say number. Okay. So now we have the number that the user has entered. Now we need to check whether this number is even or odd. As I said before, what we do is we take the number entered by the user and we divide it by two and we check the reminder value. So to get the reminder value, when we divide a number by another number, we use the modulus operator, which is denoted by this percentage symbol. So here we want to divide the value present in the number variable by two, and we want the reminder value that we get. So we need to write in number modulus two. So now, you know, when we divide any integer number by two, the reminder value that we get will be either zero or one. But in this case, we will check whether the reminder value is zero or not. So we can check that by using the comparison operator equal to, we will check whether that reminder is zero or not. So this comparison operator here, it will return true if the reminder value that we get when we divide the value present in the number variable by two as zero. 
If the reminder value is zero, it means that the number is even number. So now what we can do is we can store this result in a separate variable. Let us say result. And here this result variable will get true or false. If the reminder value that we get here is zero, then this result variable will get true. If it is one, then we get false in this result variable. Uh, what I can do is I can display that to you guys. So I'm going to use console.log and uh, here we will display the value that we have in this result variable. Okay, now I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run this. Enter an integer number, I'm going to say 20. Now you guys can see we get true here. That's because when we divide 20 by 2, the reminder value that we get is 0. And this uh, comparison operator equal to will compare this zero with this one since both the sides are same zero is equal to zero it returns true and that true is stored in the result variable now in order to print whether the number is even or odd we need to make a decision and in this case we will use the switch statement and here uh, let me get rid of this console log in the expression part of the switch statement, we will use the value that we have in the result variable. So it will be either true or false. So the case values that we write here for the switch will be true or false. So first we will have the case for true. If the result variable contains true, it means that the number is even number because the reminder value that we get when we divide that number by 2 is actually equal to 0. So we can display that to the screen. I'm going to use the console.log and I'm going to say number is even number. And after that we will have the break statement. And then we have another case and that is for false. So if the result variable contains a value false then it means that the number is not even, it is odd. So we will uh, display that to the screen. I'm gonna say is odd number, okay? So the true or false that we get for this result variable is because of this equal to comparison operator, okay? Now uh, we can save this program and we can run this. Enter an integer number, I'm gonna say 10. It says 10 is even number. Run it one more time. I'm gonna say uh, 987. It will say 987 is odd number. Now what we can do here is we can get rid of this result variable. We can uh, perform this calculation directly in this switch expression part. And uh, one more thing that we can do here is uh, we can avoid using this comparison operator, which is nothing but uh, whatever the reminder value that we get, we will not check whether it is equal to zero or not by using the comparison operator. So I'm going to get rid of that. So now what we are doing here is we are dividing the value present in the number variable by two and we are getting the reminder value. So the reminder value that we get when we divide any integer number by two is actually either zero or one. So the result variable will contain zero or one. So the case values that we write here will have to contain either zero or one. So here, if the reminder value is zero, then it means that the uh, number is even number. So instead of true, here we will have case zero. Instead of false, we will have case one. If the reminder value is one, then it means that the number is odd number. Save the program, run this. I'm gonna say 963. It says 963 is odd number. Okay, you can write it in both ways. And also we can get rid of this result variable. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna perform this calculation directly here in this switch expression part. And uh, you know, if you run the program, we will get the same thing. Okay, so this is how we can write a simple JavaScript program to check whether the number entered by the user is an even number or an odd number by using the switch statement. 
If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.